India's capital has seen some heavy rainfall in the last few days, and along with it, some tragedy. A portion of the roof collapsed at Delhi's airport, specifically at Terminal One. The collapsing roof smashed into cars parked below. One man was killed in the incident. Around six others were injured. First, look at the pictures from early this morning. You can see water leaking from the roof, so clearly the warning signs were there. And later in the day, the roof gave away. A portion of it collapsed onto the ground. You can see the vehicles crushed under it. It was a completely unnecessary and preventable tragedy. The terminal was later closed for operations. It is expected to reopen after midnight. India's civil aviation minister also visited the site. He announced compensation for the victims. We want to express our condolences to the life that has been lost in this tragic incident, also. And along with that, uh, four people have also been injured. The situation is under control. The whole rest of the terminal building has been closed off, and everything is being thoroughly inspected so that the, any other untoward incident does not happen here. There is a political row over it. The Congress Party is putting the blame on the ruling BJP. They have accused Prime Minister Modi's government of making substandard structures. Of course, the BJP has hit back. They say that the structure was built back in 2008 and 2009, a time when the Congress was in power. We are not focusing on the politics tonight. We are focusing on the larger picture. Infrastructure is the key to unlocking a country's potential. Whether it's roads or railways or bridges or airports, good infrastructure has a multiplier effect. It improves your economic growth and output. But bad infrastructure has the opposite effect. Not only does it slow down economic growth, it can be deadly, as today's incident showed. Losing lives to a collapsed roof is not acceptable in a country like India, especially at a priority site like airports. It also sends the wrong message to the world. Today, Indian bonds have been added to J.P. Morgan's government bond index. It's a big moment for the country. The government uses these bonds to raise money, and what is that money used for? Mainly infrastructure spending and building connectivity. So, on the one hand, India is wooing investors; it wants the world to make in India. On the other, you have tragedies like this, and it's not a one-off. Last month, these pictures went viral on social media. They show cracks in the road leading to India's longest sea bridge, the one located in Mumbai. Another airport accident was reported yesterday. The canopy at Jabalpur Airport collapsed. It had been inaugurated just three months ago. Now all of this raises the same question: What is the state of India's infrastructure? It's been a top focus for the Narendra Modi government. They have bet on infrastructure to boost growth. India's GDP is around 3.4 trillion dollars. The government wants to hit 5 trillion by 2027. But for that, infrastructure is key. India will have to spend 1.4 trillion dollars on infrastructure to reach that GDP level. It's a very ambitious plan. The focus is on sectors with a multiplier effect, like roads, power, and renewable energy, and the trajectory is good. Now, India's infrastructure spending will be 143 lakh crore between 2024 and 2030. That's double. The period from 2017 to 2023, so the government is clearly focusing on it. But with infrastructure, it's not just about the quantity; it's also about the quality. As today's tragedy showed, it's important to build good quality infrastructure. If not, you cannot build investor confidence.